We are in Menorca, probably the least famous out of the Balearic Islands, but with beautiful beaches. In this short video, we will tell something about the culture and the history of this beautiful island, as well as some other funny facts that are probably less known. Menorca is really famous for its beaches. This is one of the most famous ones and the most beautiful one is the Macaraya, very famous for its turquoise waters. In tomorrow there'll be sunshine and the garden will be green. We'll lay a bed of lilies for you to dream. It's May, and despite the fact that the sun is shining, there is a very cold wind, so we're not able to enjoy the seaside. This is the reason why we're going to explore the island in a different way. Menorca has two main cities. One is in the western side called Ciutadella and the other one is Mahon on the eastern side. Ciutadella is characterized by the Spanish influence and also some medieval touch. As a water, as a rock, there is no question there are none. fantastic uh, arroz caldos, one of the specialties of uh, Menorca in this restaurant with a uh, fantastic uh, fresh lobster. It's really delicious. Actually, did you know that mayonnaise comes from here? This is Aglioli, the grandparent of the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is a sauce that was created by the French after they conquered Menorca, whose capital is uh, Maon, therefore salsa mayonnaise. So, let's go to Mahon. We are in Mahon, the capital of Menorca. It's one of the most important natural harbour in the Mediterranean. That was the reason why the British established here in the 18th century. And the town still has a little bit of British influence, actually. Guillermo has taken us to a gin distillery. Uh, gin is super popular on the island because uh, the 100 Years of British Rule, which finished kind of uh, a couple of centuries ago. This is a brand called Gin Chorigue, which is a super famous brand um, based in Minorca. And now we're trying the local drink, pomada. It's cloudy again, so let's discover a bit more about the history of Menorca. Menorca has been inhabited since ancient times. The island is really scattered with a lot of uh, prehistorical sites, settlements from the Paleolithic people, which were the original people that lived here many years ago. There are a lot of, like, of villages, houses, farms, uh, uh, funeral places, caves uh, and temples. This island has been almost invaded by everyone. First there were the Carthaginenses, then came the Romans who settled here for several centuries. The Barbarians came here and was part of the Vandal Kingdom of Africa, as well are the Byzantines later on. Then came the Arabs in 903 and it was reconquered by the Christians almost 300 years later. It was then part of the Kingdom of Aragona and then Spain and around in the 18th century it was invaded and kept by the British for almost 100 years. During the American Revolution, France and Spain invaded the island back, but England reconquered until it finally lost it in the early 19th century. Since then, Menorca belonged to Spain. We 
we are at the Petrezas, the Santos Tal, which is where we're extracting the rocks to build uh, palaces and houses here in Menorca. It's very interesting because the, the site has been converted now into a park. There is like a nation uh, part, which is where like they were extracting back in the prehistorical times, and here is the more modern quarry where they were extracting the rocks in the 20th century. We are lost. Hope you enjoyed our video of Menorca. Don't skip this island just because you don't know about. It is a very laid back island, full of nature and with a lot of things that you can discover. Come back again. I'll be locked outside. You don't